Hello, good morning all. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about three widgets in Odoo. That is widget gauge, widget percentage pie and widget progress bar in Odoo. So we have already contributed a module into the Odoo app store which is of free named task checklist. So if I open my corresponding module in the pie charm, I will go to the custom items folder and if I scroll down, here you can see we have got a module called task checklist. So if I open the manifest file, you can get the name that is task checklist so you can just search for this module in the Odoo app store and you can just download it so what this module does is that i have already installed this module in my database so if i go to the projects and then if i switch to the tasks so in the kanban view of the task you can see some percentage some graphical representation and if i switch to the corresponding form view and if i switch to this just click checklist page here you can see you can see another widget so if i check here you can see the percentage is getting changed based on ticking so this is another widget that we are going to discuss about and the last one if i switch to the form view sorry if i switch to the tree view here you can see another widget called progress bar so we will discuss about widget progress bar widget person pie and widget gauge in this video so I will open the corresponding view so if I go to the views folder and if I open project task view.xml so here you can see we have inherited this is the form view if I open the form view in the checklist page here you can see a progress percentage so I'll just activate the debug mode from here so I have already installed the debug mode extension so that I can just click on here and activate the debug mode and if I click on edit checklist page and if I place the mouse over here you can see the field name is checklist underscore progress with widget percent pi widget percent pi so this is the corresponding code that I have added so here you can see field name is given as checklist progress and widget is given as percent pi so I have already added a many to many field here so here you can see this is a field with label checklist and here you can see the technical name of the field is task underscore checklist and type is many to many so I will do one thing I'll just open corresponding Python file so if I open task checklist.py here you can see I have added a many to many field that is of the model task dot checklist so I'll just show you first of all I will go to the checklist task checklist so here I have created a model so I'll just remove this value delete XYZ so right now in the checklist model we have got four records that is analysis planning designing and implementation four records and all these records will be shown inside the task so if i open any of the task and if i move to the checklist list here you can see all those records will be shown here as a checklist so it is shown as checklist even though it is a many to many field it's because i have given a widget another widget so here you can see I have given widget many to many check boxes so that's why you are getting it as a check boxes here so based on taking this field so if you take two fields I will compute the percentage so this is a compute field so here you can see the field is checklist progress so if I take the corresponding field in the Python file where is checklist progress yes it's here and its type is float and what it does is it is computing the value to it so let's go through what it does in the compute file function so this is the compute function which computes the value and it depends on the task checklist many to many field so here in the depends you can see it's depending on the many to many field and here you can see here we are computing the total records in the checklist so what it does is that is for reckon self that is i am iterating the self over the for loop to remove the singleton error so itself is iterated over the for loop then in the total length so in the total length what we are doing is that we have to get how many records exist here so right now if you run this code that is self dot env search count so it will I'll show you if I just print what I'll just print what we are getting inside the total length so I'll just copy this and I'll print the value so in the total length variable we will get the value as four as we have got four records here so that's done then next step we are getting we are taking how much fields are checked here so we need to get out of four how much is checked so to get that length of rec dot checklist rec is self and dot checklist will give us the tick to value from the many to many field so if i take the length i will get like two three like that i will get so i'll just print this also so i'll just print 
ticked column like that I will print I'll give the like ticked and I will print the value so I'll just restart the service and see what we are getting inside that so what we have done is inside the corresponding function which compute the progress I just added a two print statement that is total length as well as ticked so I'll just save it first okay it's saved let me check the log whether there is so in the log you can see total length is 4 that is we have got total 4 checkboxes and out of that 4 2 has been checked so let's untick one and see whether we are getting right value so I'll have to untick the planning and if I save and if I check the log you can see it's getting 1 so right now we are getting correct value checked so as total length is not equal to 0 here I am computing the percentage that is checklist we have got 2 into 100 by we are dividing by the total length and we are assigning this to this float field so this float field will compute the value so that's done and what you have to do is that you have to make a compute field and to that compute field of type float you have to give widget percentage pi so that's done so it will show as a progress so this is the form view okay this is the form view so let's see the changes inside the form view first so so it's is it form view yeah it's form view itself so if i click on edit so right now as one is ticked out of the total percentage will be 100 and as we have got four fields each one will have 25 percentage so if i tick the planning here it will be 50 and if i tick the implementation it will be 75 and if i tick the designing everything is complete 100 percentage is done so that's how you can use percent pi widget now let's go to the gauge widget so the gauge widget has been added in the kanban view so if i take the kanban view so this is the code that we extend the form view and where is the kanban view so this is the code of kanban view that we have seen so what we have done is we have inherited the project task kanban and added these fields into the kanban view and here you can see this is what we are seeing here so here you can see this is the progress and this is checklist progress our field that is float field and here you can see widget gauge is given and if you need to give some style like if you need to adjust its height and something like that you can just give adjust the height and style from the using the style and in the options you have to give maximum rate like 100 200 like that you can have to give maximum rate so I am giving the max field as max rate so if I take the corresponding Python file in the max rate I have set the value as static value that is 100 and I'm not going to show this field in the view so I just need to set a static value that so I have defined an integer field and give a default value as 100 so I just specify this field here that is options max field equal to max rate so that's done so our maximum rate is 100 and widget is given us gauge and checklist progress so checklist progress is our float field that we have already shown so this is the checklist progress field which will compute the value from here so this is how you can use a gauge widget which will show the ui like this so right now here it's 50 percentage so let me check one more checklist from here so right now you can see it's 50 so i'll check analysis so earlier when we have checked the campaign it was 50 right now you can see it's increased up to 75 now if i untick two of the ticks just i'll just change to 25 percentage okay you can see the 25 percentage so earlier when we have checked the campaign it was 75 right now it's changed to 25 so this is how you can use gauge widget in oru so you can see this is how the gauge widget is given widget is gauge is widget equal to gauge and options max field equal to max rate is given and finally we have to go to the tree view so if you go to the tree view here you can see a field showing the progress of the task so right now its progress is 25 percentage and i'll just do open the corresponding task and i'll tick on the one planning and if i go back to the tree view you can see it's getting increased so let me tick all the c all the checklist and here you can see it's completed progress is 100 percentage so if i take the corresponding code of the tree view here you can see simply what i have done is I have given widget equal to progress bar along with the float field that we have computed so this is all about how you can use widget percentage pi so just you have to give widget percent pi and this is widget progress bar 
and if it comes to the gauge you can see widget gauge and if you need to adjust the style height and width can be adjusted using the style like this and in the options you have to set the maximum rate so that's all about how to use these three widgets that is percent by progress bar and widget gauge so if you like our videos please click the like button and subscribe the channel to get notified regarding all the upcoming videos and if you need to get this module that is the example that we have shown you can just go to the Odoo app store and search for task checklist or you can just search automates inside the Odoo app store and you can just download it from there so hope this video helped you if you have any queries or feedbacks or suggestions don't hesitate to inform us you can just directly comment in the youtube video or just reach us over the mail that is automates at gmail.com so thank you